Hi, my name is Mike Pena for SalsaLives.com and here we are tonight with the legendary, the one and only, the new swing sextet. I'm sure the audience from SalsaLives.com would like to know more about the background for the new swing sextet. Uh, George, tell me, how does the new swing sextet get created? Well, it was a long, long time ago, uh, 1964, uh, when I was a kid in school and uh, at that time there were so many great bands in the city and, and Latin music was so popular there were clubs on every corner and every kid on every block wanted to be part of a Latin band believe it or not and so was I. Uh, I wanted to be with a Latin band. I was a clarinet player in my school band and nobody was interested in hooking up with a clarinet player at that time to play in a Latin band. So uh, long story short I started tinkering with uh, the vibes and uh, as soon as I had a set of vibes, I called three or four guys and I said, I got a set of vibes, you want to join a the band? They said yes, and that's how good we were. <laughs> All I had to do was say we got vibes and, and they were curious enough to start up and uh, that's essentially how the band started, you know, with uh, the, uh, the the original members of the of the New Swing Sextet. There you have it, that's the beginning of a new era for the New Swing Sextet. How about for you, Angel? What does it mean for you to be part of the Nusen Sextet? Well, I I was one of the uh, the later incomers. Uh, George was the the, uh, the founder of the New Swing, and uh, when I came in, it was uh, it was it was something that I wanted to do for many many years. I it was one of my favorite bands, one of the bands that I followed a lot. Um, got to play on the same stage with them many many times. I was always with, uh, with different Latin bands um, playing all over New York, just like George says, that there were so many Latin bands out there during the 60s and the 70s that it was very hard not to join a band um, if you were um, musically inclined. Um, so when I got back, when I was able to join the New Swing, uh, it, was, it was something that I was looking for for many years. I found my, com my comfort zone with the new swing. Back on the Street was an album that really, you can sense that it was music coming from your heart. And it got you somewhere. So wh where did that get you? The first recording that we had done in about 37 years, and we were nominated for a Grammy, which was incredible. Henry was the producer, uh, Willie Torres, uh, the great vocalist and, and musician was uh, the engineer, and uh, the rest was kind of history for us. It was just, it's just been an amazing trip. We were nominated for a Grammy for Best Tropical Album of the Year. The American Music Awards 51st Grammy nomination. It was an amazing, an amazing time for us because this is something that we never expected to do in a million years. After 35 years of not recording and coming back and putting out an album that we thought we were just going to get work from, we got a Grammy nomination. Tell us about the CD, the new album that you have out there. What's the name of it and your favorite tune? The album is entitled Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow. Uh, gee, I, I think all the tunes are, are great. I mean, because we really handpicked and massaged all the material. Uh, uh, most of it is original material. There are a couple of tunes there that are classics. Uh, La Bien Paga, which I believe this, the tune originated in Spain. Uh, La Loma de Belén. Uh, then we have some great original material. Uh, Maybe Then with Angel. Uh, featured on the lead vocals in English uh, uh, and all the other tunes. Don Sonero does such a great job and, and the band does such a wonderful job. So we're very uh, happy with the product and we hope that the public uh, will like what we came up with. This record is unique. To me it's unique because it has a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, whoever, whoever likes uh, older tunes, uh, Loma de Belén, those are really old tunes that are really uh, uh, really brought to life by the sound of a sextet. All right, for all the people of SalsaLives.com, my name is Mike Pena, and it's truly been a pleasure to be here with the legendary new swing sextet. Thanks, Felix, for giving me the opportunity of interviewing Angel and George. And um, one final word for the people for SalsaLives.com, that they're watching you, for the future generation of salsa. 
Well, I mean, uh, I think you spoke for all of us. Felix, thank you so much. SasaLives.com, you know, the service that you're providing with passion and love, it's, it's exactly what we need at this time. Thank you, Felix, for having us here on Salsa Lives. Uh, thank you, Mike Peña, for doing this fantastic interview. And the people at Salsa Live, don't forget, education is the key. Salsa, que viva la salsa. And remember to tune in to salsalives.com. <laughs>